I'm going to show you the basic process for rooting the Pixel 7a. First thing you want to do is unlock the bootloader. This allows you to flash factory images or whatever images you want such as the boot image, the recovery image, etc. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a team win recovery project for this device. process for rooting doesn't involve flashing team win recovery project beforehand. First thing you want to do is unlock the bootloader. First of all, enable developer options and, and enable OEM unlocking. Go into the settings. The first thing, go into about, uh, build number, triple click on that. It'll en enable developer options. Go back, go into system, developer options, enable USB debugging, and then also enable OEM unlocking. Okay, so since my device is already unlocked, grayed out, but you will see the option right here for OEM un unlocking, just check that. And then after that, what you want to do is go into fast boot mode. Going into the terminal, uh, do the ADB reboot bootloader. You'll have to have driver set up for the device so that you can use ADB debugging. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video, but there's plenty of tutorials out there how to set that up. Once you have ADB installed, you can do ADB reboot bootloader. After that, it's going to boot into fast boot mode. Here you can see it is in fast boot mode. My device is already unlocked. After that, do fast boot flashing unlock. The uh, old method for this on previous devices was OEM unlock. It got changed to flashing unlock. It's going to clear all of your data. Any apps that you have installed are going to be uninstalled and uh, you're going to have to reset up your device. And uh, after that, your device is going to reboot, but then after that, it will allow you to flash new boot image that allows for root. After you have it unlocked, download the factory images for your device. This website here, um, it is developers.google.com slash android slash images hashtag LYNX. LYNX is the uh, code name for this device. Under the 7A section, uh, you'll go down to the bottom of that list um, your, if your device is fully updated. And you would have to do this any time you update your device to a new, to a new version. Uh, you'll have to redo the uh, rooting process. Just pull down your status bar twice, check right here, or just in settings about, and you can see the version uh, that's installed. So you want to match that up with whatever you download from the website. So you can see that mine matches the one right here. So I'm going to download that, so just click link. We'll start downloading. So while that is downloading, um, we can install Magisk. Magisk is the uh, the application that will run on top of your phone that manages the uh, super user requests. Whenever apps will request root, you can go type in Magisk. Just go to the GitHub. Go to the GitHub, scroll down, go to the releases section, click on the latest one and then click on the APK. That's gonna go ahead and download. After that's downloaded, we can click on that and choose install. Um, you're gonna have to allow Chrome to install unknown sources. It's gonna ask you that beforehand, but then just go ahead and install after that. Now we have Magisk installed. It's not gonna work yet um, until we flash a modified boot image. What we will do is download this file. After it's downloaded, we can grab the boot image from it. And then you go into Magisk. You'll do install. You do select and patch a file. And then this is where you patch the boot image. You'll select the boot image. And then it will patch it. And then after it's patched, we can uh, flash it using fastboot. After we have that file downloaded, we need to extract the boot image from it. Uh, so this is a zip file, let's open that up. And there's a folder inside of that. And then there's another zip file inside of that. So we need to extract this file that's inside of that. And that would be the image-links-up1.a, etc.a1.zip. 
This is where all of the uh, images are. So this is the file that was extracted. So inside of this, you'll see all the images. What we need from this is the init underscore boot dot img. So let's extract this one. Okay, so we have that file right here. We're gonna need to put that onto the phone so that we can patch it with Magisk. Enable file transfer. transfer. And we're gonna copy this file into the phone. Let's go to the internal storage. I'll put it in the documents folder. Paste that. So we got the init underscore boot dot img right there. I'm gonna unmount the phone. Then we're gonna go into the Magisk app. Click on install. Select the patch file. So got inside of the uh, documents folder init underscore boot dot img, select that, choose let's go. It's gonna patch this file and after that's done, exit out and we're gonna have to transfer that file back to the computer. So make sure file transfer is turned on, go back, remount your phone, go to the internal storage, go to the download folder and we'll see that there's the patched file right here. We're gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste it into here. Now we're gonna need to go back into fast boot mode. I changed directory into the folder that I'm in that has the image file. So you can do CD into that. It just goes into that directory so we can um, get to that file easier when we flash it. We're going to do ADB reboot bootloader and that will cause it to boot into fast boot mode. We're going to flash that patched file. So do fast boot flash init underscore boot underscore A. So there's two different boot slots that need to be flashed to. Um, and then the uh, name of the patched file, which is magisk underscore patched. So let's flash the A boot partition. So that finished, and now we're going to do B. So fast boot flash init underscore boot underscore B. And the uh, patched image again. Now both of those are done. Now let's try booting into the patched boot image. All right, this is normal. When your bootloader is unlocked, you get this message every time you boot, by the way. It's booting into the operating system. This basically should be it. We should have root now, so let's... I have a root application installed already. Open that up and see if it requests super user permission. Wow. All right, so here we go. We got the super user request grant. And now you can see I can get into root directory. I can look at the system files and it is using Magisk. I just opened this up again. It says your device needs additional setup for Magisk to work properly. If you want to proceed and reboot, just click OK and it's just going to reboot by itself. Hey, it looks like it is good now. All right, it is granted super user. So that is it. That is how to root the Pixel 7a. Um, I know a lot of this is kind of assuming you know some technical knowledge already. So help each other out in the comment section. Um, you can ask some questions. I'll uh, respond to that. Let me know. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.